Jesus explains, Church, I want to go back to the simple gospel. Bring the lost to me. July 5th, 2015. Words from Jesus through Sister Claire, spoken by Jackie. Jesus began, I'm right here by your side, my love and I do want to draw you far away from the world and way high up into my heart. This is that place of fullness where I exchange your weakness, your ignorance, your laziness, your fears for my strength, my wisdom, my commitment, my faith, up, up and away, high into the habitation of my heart, out of harm's way, in that place where none can disturb or disrupt. When you worship in the way I have given to you, your soul is drawn along as if it were on a conveyor belt, as I draw you with cords of love into the secret high place where all eventualities are realities. You exchange your limited human time for my eternal endless time in which I see the complete majesty of my creation. This supernatural exchange of energies from the divine wellsprings of life are what I wish to fill all my brides with, that they may walk in victory until I take them up and away with me. The challenges of your corrupted world overpower ordinary humanity. Nothing that is grounded in the world can stand. All must have their foundation in solid rock. That is my will, my empowerment and my love, tucked away and securely hidden in the vine, putting forth the sweet fruit of divine love. In this world all turns bitter, in heaven all turns sweet. As you walk in this life grounded in me, this sweetness is exuded into your grapes from deep within me. These choice clusters are readily identified by those who know the voice of their shepherd, and another they will not follow. In these times I'm calling, 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 out in love to those who have departed from the way, to those who have never known the way. Amidst the sea of bitterness, I'm offering the sweetness of my love, something never before experienced. My focus is not on punishment, but love, for love is the last call to the rebellious and uninformed. The sweet melody of love is unmistakably different than the harsh crassness of the world. This divine fragrance touches that tender place within a soul that has yet to be filled. I was thinking of the theme song from the film The Mission, how plaintively sweet it was and how it drew the natives to the men, how it bypassed so much. He answered my thought. Yes, much like the flute playing in the mission, the melody reached beyond the barriers of hostility and hatred and drew those souls into my arms. Never mind that man came along and spoiled it. Still, many souls made it into the safe haven of my arms. Yes, truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. The simplicity of the gospel can never be improved upon by the intellect of man. It only sows confusion and pride. That is why I prefer simple things best. Things that bypass the intellect and lodge in the heart like a dart tipped with a drop of my sacrificial love. Once that finds its way into a man's heart, he knows right from wrong, good from evil, and that is when the poison of self-will can do the most damage. I was thinking, Lord, what is going on that I'm missing? What are you addressing? And he answered my unspoken question, 
What am I getting at? Your channel is about that simple love. It reveals how very simple, tender and approachable I am. This is by my design, for I wish to reach inside souls and bypass all the religious traps and mazes that have so hindered conversions. I want to provide a straight line to love. I want to nourish and suckle the little ones directly from my own divine breast, without the posturing and learning. Charity edifies, knowledge puffs up, and pride proceeds a fall. The way to my heart is straight and narrow. These other things are there only to direct the soul into my arms and the divine union of wills. But men have made them an end in themselves and have devised a million ways to detour humanity from my simple and direct love. As a result, so many do not make it into my arms, but are turned away in confusion. Church, I want to go back to the simplicity of the gospel, the witness of my miracles and the kind of love that does not exist in the world. I'm calling to the lost with my love. You are all ambassadors of love, a rare quality, one that only thrives in the garden of my love, where you daily come to bask in my transforming presence. I'm calling you all to simple brotherly love. Please put aside rhetoric and squabbling over doctrines. It is so easy to be caught in the trap of pride and learning, but so challenging to skip on past needless disputes and answer with love and graciousness, dwelling together in one accord on earth, even as it is in heaven. I'm not asking you to compromise, not in the least, but I'm asking you to use the superior tools for conversion, love, not endless doctrinal arguments and disputes that only reveal the hypocrisy in my church. Love one another as I have loved you. Yes, this I will bless. This will reap the bumper crop and my storehouse will be full. Go forth now in humility and wrap each soul in the tender blanket of my love. There they will find shelter from the relentless storms of confusion. There they will find rest. Bring them to me. I long to embrace the lost. Tenderly bring them to me.